Hi, this is Sieg Schmals, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. What does it mean to think in the phase domain? Being able to think in the phase domain is very important, fundamental really, to understanding timing concepts such as phase noise and jitter. To answer this question, I'm going to use an analogy to something we engineers are typically much more comfortable with, the voltage domain. When thinking in the voltage domain, there are two parameters that we use to describe a clock waveform, the clock's amplitude and its frequency. These are terms that we are familiar with when looking at a clock on an oscilloscope. On a scope, we are looking at amplitude and frequency in the voltage domain. For example, the amplitude may be measured by comparing the distance from zero volts to the voltage that the clock reaches. Now, this is not intuitive at first, but I need you to change your thinking from the voltage domain to the phase domain. The first thing to understand is that when thinking in the phase domain, the voltage amplitude of the clock is not related to the phase amplitude. A clock of voltage domain amplitude of 200 volts can look exactly the same in the phase domain as a clock of voltage domain amplitude of only 50 millivolts. This is because the event of interest when we think in the phase domain is the moment in time a rising edge occurs, not its high or low voltage levels. The phase amplitude is measured by comparing the distance from zero degrees phase of an ideal clock's rising edge to the phase at the moment in time where the rising edge of the real clock occurs. For more detail on how we think of phase in the world of timing, previous videos accessible through links in the description below this video may be helpful. Just as in Fourier analysis of voltage domain descriptions of a waveform, which shows that a clock can be described as a combination of various clocks of different frequencies and voltage amplitudes, phase domain descriptions of a waveform can also be described as a combination of clocks of different frequencies and phase amplitudes. In the next video, we will lay the groundwork for understanding phase power spectral density by first reviewing it in the more familiar voltage domain.